Yo, this is your boy James over at Expector Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Wizards Unite content. And today, uh, we're here to go over the details for the upcoming brilliant event, Circus Calamitous Part 2, and give you guys our four, four tips to help you get through this event as efficiently as possible. So let's have some fun and go over the details. Starting with the details, then ending with our four tips. Timestamps will be below in the description. So, with the details, the date for the event is this upcoming Tuesday, March 24th, ending on March 31st, starting at 11 a.m. PDT. That is Pacific Standard Time per usual. Now, what's coming back from part one? We have the Brilliant Zuwu and the Brilliant Graphorn. Also coming back, the Aloha More Foundables specifically boosted for this event because we have tasks that we need to cast Aloha More. Also what's coming back is Brilliant Port Keys and the same location as part one, which will be the Circus Calamitous. But with the Brilliant Port Keys, there is a twist. They are cut in half from three kilometers to 1.5. And that is so good because of the circumstances. And what's so good about this event is this is the first event you can literally, aside from one task, you could literally complete at home. And again, that is due to the current circumstances around the globe with COVID-19 and the Corona virus. So uh, kudos to the WB Niantic Harry Potter Wizards Unite dev team for looking out and uh, trying to keep our safety first. I, I appreciate that so much, so much. All right, so we already went over what's coming back. Now, what's being added to this event that we have not seen before? We're gonna start with the brilliant foundables. Like, brilliant Nagini. I cannot wait to see the animation for that. That is going to be in a while with the brilliant uh, Zuwu and the brilliant Graphorn, along with a new, another new foundable, brilliant Kappa, which is so clutch. I cannot believe that we're seeing these foundables in game. It's going to be so clutch, so much fun. Uh, so those four we will see out and about on our map. Also, we have the Omni poster, which is strictly from the brilliant Port Keys, 1.5 kilometers, and the Candy Floss Stand, which is from Wizarding Challenges, or the bonus assignment, which is, again, keeping us safe so we don't have to go out and do Wizarding Challenges. We are able to get the Candy Floss Stands via the bonus assignments, which we'll go over at the end. The other two foundables, brilliant foundables, will be found during tasks. Those are the brilliant clown, which looks sweet, and the brilliant fire drakes. Moving on to the task. All right, going over the task, courtesy of the infographics from Orange Wizard. The first task we have. Pick up one ingredient or item from the map, which is like we do every day for my daily assignments. Super easy. Uh, then return three brilliant kappas and use one master notes. Again, real easy. Moving on to task number two. We have use one tonic for trace detection. Brew three extimulo potions. Any, any extimulo potions. And then dinet ends three times, which is going to be the hardest one based on uh, your quarantine level, whether it's self-quarantine or uh, government mandated. So just be careful. Take care of yourself. Hopefully, hopefully they change it last minute like they did with the previous brilliant event. Moving on to task number three, we have use four extimulo potions, any, again, uh, return five brilliant Naginis and earn 750 wizarding XP, which will be so clutch is 
I mean, it's going to be so easy. We'll go over that in our tips. So easy to do. And the last, but certainly not least, fourth task we have. Use two trace for detection tonics. Uh, return five high threat level foundables. And collect spell energy from the map three times. Uh, moving on to the bonus assignment we have which I'm loving because of the rewards and you don't have to go to a fortress to get place this item which is the candy floss stand they're giving it to you in a bonus assignment that is so clutch so good uh, we have earned 2000 wizarding XP then use four tonic for trace detection those two task rewards are the candy floss stand which is again super super thoughtful uh return five high threat level foundables is next then return 30 brilliant foundables again which will give you a new commander from the ministry of magic registry category and last but not least cast aloha more 30 times so that is super super clutch uh we also have infographics about the bundles which i usually never go over but um if you guys are interested um, i'll have a link to an article breaking down the cost value and uh it's pretty good so if you guys are interested in buying a bundle uh you can see where you're getting the most bang for your buck now moving on to the tips Our first and easiest tip we have for you guys is start brewing your extimulo potions now and have them ready before task two. Uh, you're going to need to brew three of them or four if you want to have four ready for the third task. But you need to brew three for the second task. So just like with any potion task, make sure you have them brewed before the event starts. So when you get to said task, you can collect the potions. Speaking of potions, our tip number two for you guys is to get a rental cauldron. Here's why I say that. With the task one of the Brilliant Event Circuits Calamitous Part 2, you need to use a master note during the first task. That being said, it's hard to do a master note with potions already ready to collect for task number two. So if you get a rental cauldron, particularly the three hour cauldron, which is 15 coin, you will be ready to go and can fly through task one and two easy peasy. Now you're saying, James, I don't want to spend any coin. Well, you just got 50 Sunday from your daily reward. So consider using part of that 50 on the rental cauldron for task number one and two to get through as efficient as possible. That's tip number two. Tip number three we got for you guys. Make sure you're utilizing every aspect of this game when trying to collect wizarding XP. You're going to need 750 for the third task and 2000 for the bonus assignment. That being said, we will have boost in the Alohomora foundables, particularly with Fox and Buckbeak, which are severe foundables with the Rufuro Brain Elixir giving you 500 XP. And also with the Demi guys and Thestral, you're getting another, I believe it is 150 to 250 XP. Now, that's with the foundables. But also, don't forget, if you happen to have some gifts from friends, use your brew for a brain elixir there and you get XP. So two, two extravagant gifts can have you knock out the bonus assignment for 2000 XP in no time. So that's my tip number three. And my fourth and final tip for you guys deals with task number two. If you are able to Try to plan a day, map out a day where you're able to go out and dine in at an inn three times so you can complete the second assignment, which will make things a lot easier completing all of the assignments, including the bonus assignments for this brilliant event, Circus Calamitous Part 2. But that's going to be it for you, boy. Um, yo, if you guys have any other tips or guides uh, to help your fellow witch or wizard during the event, please, please share in the comment section below. And uh, let's talk some Harry Potter wizards unite. 
If you are new, subscribe to the channel. Here you'll be getting all the latest and greatest in Wizards Unite content, gameplay, tips, news, and updates. So if that's something you're into, definitely, definitely consider subscribing. Also follow us on our various, various forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All right, we're about to open our first, first chocolate frog. I just opened it. And what do we have? What do we have? We have Godric Gryffindor, which is funny because I'm filming this on a Sunday, which is uh, Gryffindor Pride Day. So that is that's that's very <laughs> that is very cool, very cool. Uh, shout out to uh, James over at uh, Rights Doing Stuff, uh, um, well previously known as Wizard News. Obviously, we miss you, man, and uh, cannot wait to see what you do. Super excited to continue the tradition set by James, but. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for hanging. I will see you in the next video. Until next time.